Well hello nerds! You all should be most welcome back to Jimmerism Total Nerdy Channel. Our glorious dame game de, game dame game developer Fra Francois. I hope I said it right. He added some really amazing handgun features. Like basically there is now a new block so you can make weapons to fit into your hand and you can use them with your character. And I've been using the entire day today basically to make handguns <laughs> and it was well spent time we should we should look through all of them and uh, after we looked at my weapons i'm going to show you how to make one so that's gonna be pretty awesome anyways let's get back our hud here here is my uh, assault rifle uh, defender uh, assault rifle mark one and as you can see, we have, uh, they're basically all laser weapons. And uh, why are you telling me that? Let's do it like this, so we are on ground. And it's basically an assault rifle. Kind of semi-automatic. Deals a lot of damage. And can shoot a couple of good shots before it needs to regenerate. All right, what have I been <clears throat> up to and making more? Well, ladies and gentlemen, meet this beautiful thing. <laughs> Intergalactic Thug Life. Oh, I'm going to show you this in third person, by the way. This is kind of how you hold it. It's a little bit weird in some angles, but I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, but this is intergalactic thug life tm <laughs> which is of course a very stupid like just look at this like look at her <laughs> of course i had to put one gun uh, on the side like this so you look completely ridiculous when <laughs> you hold these guns and they deal too much damage and overheat too easily but they are amazing don't you think that's not even a question they are amazing look at this Beautiful, beautiful. Eh, there you go. Thug life. Anyways, uh, so what do we have more? Ooh. Oh, yes, this one. Here, you have Bronze Puppy Mark 1, which is, of course, your classical Gatling gun. And you can't see much of this uh, like when you're using it, but if you go into third person and not get the weird angle there, kind of, uh, you can see this be <laughs> God, she's kind of holding this gun a little bit inappropriately. Oh, well, whatever. It's a beautiful gun and it works. <clears throat> Photogenic, if you know what I mean. No, but uh, let's check its features. Bronze puppy, not very accurate, but damn, this is probably my best gun, like, performance-wise. Look at the damage! It's quite amazing. I like this one a lot. Oh, yes, yes, and all, all the decals and everything like that. Completely beautiful. Anyways, let's check our sniper. Um, I've made the Scarpex, uh, what did I call it? Something 2000. It's, that, it's like this super tactical Scarpex 2000S. Yes. Beautiful. So we can hold this, and this is act the gun that looks the most cool when you're holding it. You can see a third person look, like she's holding it there, ready to. Whoops, ready to shoot some real sharp stuff there. Yeah, yeah, there you can see, like, very nice. Anyways, it kind of just negates one complete block. And you can see the lights are changing color on it when we click. And that's pretty nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, and then... <clears throat> This is a real beautiful thing. This is, I think, this is my favorite. Because I've used a feature that I didn't think would work, but works perfectly fine. Se Thanks Tsunameo for putting this. This is his developer name, Tsunameo. 
which is a type of onigiri, which you can buy in 7-Eleven in like Japan, where he lives. But he's from France. If you... I'm not being rude, but if you watch uh, any of videos with him, you instantly realize he's from France. It's, it's very obvious. Anyways, Tsunameo has put in the beautiful feature that you can not only use weapons and lights to uh, control with your handgun kind of thing. No, look, look at the gun now. Ah, oh, yes, yes. I've used the rail to make a blowback effect. So it kind of goes back this uh, like entire time. We can see here, like this is when we're holding the gun. It's a real cool pistol there. We're holding the gun like this, very nice. And uh, you can see how short it's there. So if we shoot, pause there, you can see this entire section just went blowing back, just like that. So I basically have the energy generators on the rail thing that's blowing back and that works perfectly fine. So, uh, and it gets a little stuck when you pause it like that. But it has a like uh, magazine thing with, uh, I think it is like six shots. It's decently accurate, seven, eight, yeah. Th this is my favorite gun. Like, I just love that Tsunami you put in that feature, you can actually use rails on guns. So you can make this kind of blowback effect there. It's pretty cool, but now we need to slow down so it can recharge, and there we go. Bam! 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 Amazing! Oh no! Go away. I like that a lot anyways, if you didn't realize. Um, I think this may be a feature that's going away, um, but you're not really limited to using small weapons. <laughs> You can use large weapons as handguns if you want to. Meet the Javelin, Mark 1. This is my only beam weapon. And it's basically kind of a shoop da whoop type of uh, damage here. So let's kind of short this up a little bit. All right, I think we're ready to go. And you can see we're looking pretty brutal. I think we need to get uh, we, we need to get a shot when we're actually shooting the beam here. So let's get into and get some jetpack and just uh, oh no ah oh, there you go <laughs> so ridiculous so ridiculous and this deals some damage I can tell you it does deal some damage you can see this like you would w not yeah so basically you can have handguns to you can take out spaceship with this thing. And this little activator thing is just, beam is just used as a kind of laser sight thing that looks cool, but yeah. So uh, I kind of suspect that large weapons might get removed from um, the handgun feature, but you never know, it's pretty cool. Like, just walking around with this and just, oh no, we need to recharge a little bit more. Well, we can use a lot of weapons. Ah. Oh yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Very beautiful. Assault rifle there. I'm just going them through so you can just... Uh... I don't know. I guess I'm just showing off. Let's make a weapon. Let's make a weapon. So, uh, just if you were wondering, this is a very big laser weapon with the longest um, barrel possible and that's the precision barrel or a long-range barrel whatever it's called this one is just a huge beam with uh, lots of power uh, or not lots of power but quite much power and too much damage it's insane I don't know how this works this thing is a decently sized uh, laser with uh, biggest size of Gatling barrel which means uh, biggest rate of fire it has two handles, but only one of them are connected up to the weapon. This is a cooled, quite big laser blaster. And, you know, it's a laser blaster. Pretty straightforward with cooling. This is the same thing, actually. 
only it's a larger gun uh, we have more power generation and we have a larger cooler so this has much higher uh, fire rate we also have two handles which means more energy and faster cooldown yeah and this one is a separated uh, like handle thing so basically if you know how I made this was I just separated you know the barrels like with blocks with actual blocks like this when I place them down that's all I did uh, there is nothing connecting them but that's how to make a kind of uh, dual wielded weapon you can either have them separate or same and this weapon actually both of the guns are connected up to the weapon so you can actually fire with both left and right so I don't know that's what you can do but let let us make a simple weapon so to make things easier what I just want to do is I want to have my little item stand on a little pedestal so it's much easier to reach so we can just make a little pedestal like this and we just put an item stand there beautiful then we go in here and here we see the handle thing go to the handle thing and uh, set it into the item thing right now construction has started forward of the gun is where the trigger is facing <clears throat> it's uh, really straightforward really we can do like this, have a little bend there. Then we can go and we can, let me just show the basic here. We go here and we just gonna select a small block. You can big build with big blocks, but that's kind of a little bit weird. So we're just gonna do small blocks. You can make the shape you want. Uh, now you can do beam weapons and laser weapons. Uh, beam weapons are kind of simpler to make and of course there is a small beam. I just made the large beam because it's more fun. But uh, generally I think that lasers, small lasers are more fun in general. And uh, well, we can have this recoil barrel here. So we can just drag it down the recoil barrel. You can choose any of the barrels. And you have different add-ons here. So I think we're going to have a charge add-on, kind of. Whoops, now we actually dropped the gun. Well, anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to put that. We can select the size, how big it want to be. And if you go in here, by the way, you can see that the handle has a um, cooling of almost 20 heat per second. It generates 20, heat, uh, 20 energy per second and... Um, it has a heat capacity of 188. So uh, the small bricks don't really add to uh, overheating bonus, what I have found. Uh, what does add to overheating, like um, makes it overheat less often, is if you have two handles. That's how to deal with that. Anyways, what you do is uh, you slap on a barrel on this thing and you just go to your connector tool, which is of course in here link to and you take the handle and link it to the gun pretty straightforward if you have two handles one handle will be left click the other handle will will be right click so anyways we can just go into this weapon here and we can fire and it works now you can see it takes a lot of uh, energy to shoot this thing so what we actually can do is we can go and we can add generators and some capacitors and now we have a much like we have a lot of energy basically right so what we also could do of course is we could let's see if we can find no I guess we'll need to drag that down then. we're gonna grab another handle just gonna do something a little bit stupid adding this barrel there beautiful <clears throat> we're gonna add another bend and we're going to go in here and we're going to find a beam weapon whoops i missed beam weapon and let's have some uh, charge add-ons on it because you can have add-ons and stuff if you want to make the flat side face a reasonable way and you can put on some of these Beautiful. Now, of course, we need to hook up the other barrel. 
to another gun. So now we have both left fire and right fire. Pretty decent. All right, so what we can do is we can go into here. Now we hold this weapon and if you want to select a weapon, so to speak, just place a block on it and remove it. And then you go in here and you can see the codex. We can save this. If we write anything in here and click export. Cool, export. Beautiful. Uh, what, if we want to spawn a weapon, you can save weapons, you can spawn them. And uh, thanks a lot to Xeno Prophet from the Sky Wanderers Discord who actually told me this. Okay, so you just you have an item stand and you have an empty slot like empty hand and you go to it and then you can load whatever weapon you want you have saved on your world. Um, I don't really know how exporting and um, importing from different worlds work but you can find the files in your saved files and I think you should be able to transfer them. But that's basically our gun. And it's pretty self-explanatory but uh, you can of course go in here and here and you can like spray the whole thing in an interesting color and add some like rivets and stuff if that makes you feel happy which it does and the weapon color also changed the beam or projectile color so that's how that works cool well 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 i do hope you learned something today and uh, well do stay tuned for future videos this is just oh god no <laughs> oh no anyways happy weapon building and i'll see you in another time this is jim Odessa, total notary channel officially signing out